Welcome to Venus, the scorching hot landscape that is nothing like home. In this mission, you will experience the extreme conditions of this planet for a seemingly endless 5 seconds. Venus, our nearest neighbor, is a mere 40 million kilometers away at its closest approach. After a four-month journey through space, you will finally witness this beautiful but deadly planet up close. Approximately four and a half billion years ago, Venus and Earth formed in the same corner of our solar system. Similar in size to Earth, Venus possesses gravity akin to our home planet. Our knowledge about Venus comes from the various probes we have sent to this scorching world. Some probes have orbited it, some made flybys, and a few even landed on its surface. However, their lifespan was short-lived. The fate of these probes is what you are about to discover. It is time to make your way down to the surface. As you descend, you will witness the mesmerizing beauty of the clouds. However, these yellowish bands streaking across the sky consist of sulfuric acid. Inhaling them would be perilous, as the air carries the reek of rotten eggs. Removing your helmet is absolutely out of the question. At a height of 50 kilometers above the surface, visibility diminishes significantly. The thick atmosphere obstructs the view of the planet and its tens of thousands of volcanoes. Venus' atmosphere primarily comprises carbon dioxide, which contributes to its dense nature. This density traps heat, resulting in scorching surface temperatures. Brace yourself for the heat you are about to experience. As you continue descending, the haze gradually clears, revealing a rust-colored surface adorned with mountains and volcanoes. Active volcanoes dot the landscape, confirming the planet's dynamic nature. Take a moment to collect samples and absorb the view. Now, it's time to find a suitable landing spot. Ah, but it seems there is no signal. Initiating the landing sequence without clearance, you hope for the best. Upon landing, clouds of dust are stirred, taking several minutes to settle in the soupy atmosphere. As the dust clears, you gaze upwards, only to realize that the familiar yellow circle of the sun is absent. On Venus, it perpetually appears as if it is dawn, regardless of the actual time of day. This peculiar phenomenon results from the Venusian atmosphere allowing only 10% of the sunlight to reach the surface. Remember our earlier mention of the Venera 13 space probe? This Soviet probe landed on Venus in 1981, surviving the descent and lasting an impressive 127 minutes. However, it ultimately succumbed to the violent and inhospitable environment. Extreme pressure and intense heat likely crushed or melted the probe. Despite the dangers, it is too late to turn back now. You have successfully endured the one-hour-long landing and are tantalizingly close to completing your mission by spending a mere five seconds on the surface. But as you step outside, you immediately notice the strangeness of the atmosphere. The immensely dense air makes even simple movements challenging. Although Venus shares a similar gravity to Earth, you feel the sheer weight of the surroundings, akin to wading through very hot water. Your protective gear proves its worth as you navigate this hostile environment. A quick glance at your thermometer reveals a scorching temperature of 475 degrees Celsius, hot enough to melt lead. Your pressurized suit tirelessly works to keep you safe. Without its protection, the crushing pressure would render you helpless in a matter of seconds. Perhaps this won't be so bad after all. If a spacecraft could endure for over two hours four decades ago, surely you, equipped with the latest advancements in technology, can last longer. Suddenly, an unexpected incident grabs your attention, diverting your focus from the groundbreaking human analysis of Venus surface conditions. Your protective suit fails, and the drastic pressure shift immediately engulfs you, akin to being deep underwater. With an atmospheric pressure 90 times that of Earth, Venus squeezes you from all directions simultaneously. Breathing becomes a struggle in an atmosphere devoid of oxygen, scalding your mouth and throat with each inhalation. Unless you can scramble back to the safety of your spacecraft with lightning speed, death looms within seconds. Thanks for watching everyone. If you liked this video don't forget to hit the like button below and subscribe. See you in the next video.